Hi, this is Dr. Bulshan, uh, your physics tutor. And today I'm going to talk about the Kirchhoff's rules uh, for circuits. Explain clearly in simple words, how do we relate conservation of charges to Kirchhoff's junction rule and the conservation of energy to Kirchhoff's loop rule. So there are two rules. Rule number one says at a junction point, the algebraic sum of currents is zero. So let's come to this rule. If this is a point at which so many currents are joining, some currents will be coming in, some currents will be going in, but the net algebraic sum of currents has to be zero because at a junction point, the current is the rate of flow of charge. So whatever charge flows in must flow out. So if I take the incoming currents as positive and outgoing currents are negative, then sum of these currents will be zero. That means I1 minus I2 plus I3 minus I4 will be zero, or incoming currents will be equal to outgoing currents. So incoming currents are I1 and I3. So I1 plus I3 will be sum of outgoing currents that will be I2 plus I4. So if I write this rule, uh, number one here, I would get I1 plus I, I3 being the incoming currents will be equal to outgoing currents, that is I2 plus I4. Or if I take incoming currents as positive and outgoing currents as negative, then I1 minus I2 plus I3 minus I4 would be zero. This is rule number one, which is based on law of conservation of charge. That charge, what is coming in, must be the charge going out. And charge is nothing but rate of flow. Uh, the current is nothing but rate of flow of charge. So the current coming in must be equal to current going out. And that's rule number one. The second rule applies to a loop or a closed network. Suppose this is a closed network, which is made up of uh, some batteries and some you know, uh, uh, resistances. So the law says that in a closed network, the algebraic sum of all the voltages is zero. So the voltages are, that is the batteries, which are supplying the EMFs and currents, which are causing the drops across resistances. So the rule says the algebraic sum of the EMFs of all the batteries put together is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across all the resistances. And we take uh, this uh, closed loop that this direction is positive. And then accordingly, we fix the values here in this equation. And this is based on the law of conservation of energy because potential is work done in moving a unit charge between two points. So the energy is left side energy is supplied by the batteries and right side energy is the energy consumed by the resistances. So whatever is energy supplied must be consumed because the law of conservation of energy says that net energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. So let's look at this loop. There is a resistance R1 and there's a current I1 here. I've assumed the direction of current to be this way uh, just for convenience. There's a battery E2 which is supplying a current. There is a battery E3 which is supplying a current. There is a resistance R2 through which the current is I2 and there is a resistance R3 through which the current is I3. Now let's look at the direction of currents. I1 current is going in the clockwise direction in the direction of arrow. So I'll take the right hand side as I1 R1 as plus sign. Then current I2 is flowing in the opposite direction, that is anti-clockwise direction. So I'll write as negative I2 R2 on the right side. And likewise, current I3 is flowing in the direction of this arrow. So that's clockwise. So it will be I3 R3. Now I've got the right hand side. Now for the left hand side, I've got the EMFs of the battery. Now look at this battery alone, E1. If this battery was to supply its current, that current will flow from positive terminal to the negative terminal. And that direction is against the direction of this arrow. And therefore I write E1 as negative on the left hand side. So negative E1. E2 is a battery which is supplying this current from 
positive terminal to negative terminal, and that current is in the direction of arrow in the proper direction. So I'll write plus E2 here. And then there's a third battery, E3, which is supplying its current from positive terminal to negative terminal, and that current is in the clockwise direction, and therefore this battery will be used as plus E3. So if I use the equation of rule number two, I get negative E1 plus E2 plus E3 equals I1 R1 minus I2 R2 plus I3 R3. Now use this, these equations to get the values of currents and voltages. And this rule number two is based on the law of conservation of energy. That is energy is supplied by the batteries and then there is a corresponding energy uh, which is dissipated across the resistances. And therefore, whatever is the battery voltage should be equal to the drops across various resistances and that's applicable for a closed network. So here the closed network is A, B, C, D, and back to A. So these are the two rules of Kirchhoff's laws, which can be used to solve complex circuit problems. I hope it should work. Thank you.